So in research, many people can follow a recipe, but uh, it's really critical for individuals who wish to apply an independent career in research to be able to do independent research, to think independently, to work independently, and to develop their ideas themselves. So I have a single goal as a mentor, um, that is to uh, basically produce people who can think independently. I run a fairly large lab and over the last 30 odd years I've mentored more than 50 graduate students and more than 50 postdoctoral fellows. He provides you with a lot of space to think about your own ideas, to design your own experiments. So I really appreciate that. Being smart is not an issue for them but being able to think for themselves, being able to uh, work without relying on other individuals' opinions, that's something that really has merit in their career as they move forward. So that's uh, the different thing I think about the way I mentor. I ask for that independence from day one. But at the same time, whenever you need his help, he's there to provide you with his knowledge. Hi, Bob. Anybody can walk into my office at any time when the doors open. I basically sit down with my um, graduate students and eat lunch. We have lots of parties. Parties are very important in the mentoring game. Um, and uh, try to use those uh, opportunities to talk to them about uh, what's on their mind. He has been my mentor not only in terms of uh, in the research, but also like in terms of other possibilities that I could do with my PhD in the future, like uh, working for non-profit organizations or things like that. I consider the ultimate goal for a supervisor is to produce individuals better than his or herself. And therefore, when um, I mentor an individual and they benefit from it and I see the development of their careers as I would be ambitious to have them uh, turn out, um, it gives me enormous satisfaction. Mm -hmm.